And do you think there are going to have to be, be trade-offs to be made there? And if you could talk a little bit about what those might be. There will be lots of trade-offs. Uh, first, you know, a lot of things which aren't to do with the immediate economic crisis will get shorter shrift than their advocates would want, just because this isn't about the whole world's agenda. It's about what we need to do as a global community to end this recession and get back to, to recovery. So things are going to fall off the table that don't meet the criteria of, of, of contributing to, to recovery now. Secondly, you know, this is a situation that's a bit like a Rubik cube where, you know, everybody's got to give something and then they get something. I mean, you know, there are British overseas territories which have been tax havens traditionally and that's been a major source of their earnings. Well, that's going to have to go as part of the Prime Minister's pledge to eliminate tax havens. Secondly, we've, we've had pretty light regulation in some ways of parts of our financial sector. That too is going to have to get toughened up and tightened up as part of a commitment to global standards in this area. There are countries which aren't very keen on bigger fiscal stimuluses. Their politics is a politics of puritanical prudence in some ways. Well, they're going to have to kind of swallow hard and go along with, with, with bigger spending because it's important we all do it, that we're all stimulating our economies in broadly the same direction. So, you know, nobody's going to kind of just uh, get away with doing what they want and not doing the rest. It requires us all to do some things we don't want in order that we get some things we need. And that's why I describe it as a Rubik Cube, where, you know, broadly put, countries which are in so-called surplus, that is that they um, sell more than they buy in the global economy, are going to have to put some of that surplus to work to stimulate global demand at home and abroad. Uh, countries which have been heavy borrowers have to go on borrowing for this current stimulus, but then have to show that they're going to bring their books back towards balance, that they're going to in future borrow and spend less and save more. And US, UK, uh, we're examples of countries which, which will need to do that, particularly as we need to pay down the debt we will build up during this period. So uh, this is not, there's, there's, there's no free lunch in this situation. Uh, everybody's going to have to make sacrifices.